Hi everybody, welcome to the very first episode of A Walk and a Talk. I am so excited to bring you this brand new series and to be part of the Walk at Home family. My name is Selena Pompiani and I want to tell you a little bit about myself as we walk through the beautiful neighborhood of Highland Park on this absolutely stunning fall day. I was born and raised right here in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. I absolutely love this city and in my opinion, it's the best in the world. And you know, over the last seven months, I've been doing a lot of walking. I want to get my miles in. I want to stay active and healthy. And it's really been a game changer, I think, for a lot of people. But before we get started, I want to introduce you to somebody who's going to be joining me on my walk today. I want to introduce you to a fabulous lady in the Highland Park area named Dr. Natalie Gentili. And we're going to be walking together. So I hope that you join us. Now, for those of you who don't know about Dr. Natalie, she is amazing. She is board certified in both family medicine and lifestyle medicine, and she is the founder and owner of Gentilly Family Direct Primary Care. I mean, it's an honor to be walking with Same, you. Same, Selena. Thank you. This is so exciting. <laughs> and this is your neighborhood, this Highland is, Park. This is. I'm a Pittsburgher, born and raised. <gasps> Love it. And uh, we just moved back, actually, a year ago. It's really good to be serving the oh, community. So, well, it's great to have you back. We're lucky Thanks. to have you here Thank in the Berg, you. Dr. Natalie. Thank you. So we are getting our steps in and our miles in today, mm -hmm. but why is it so important? Why is walking simply so important to have in your lifestyle? So when I'm talking to patients about ways that they can get healthier, it's all about what are sustainable things you can do. And it really seems with walking, that's something that the majority of people are able to, to do, whether it's in their home, like with walk at home videos or their own exercises at home or out on a sidewalk, at a gym, on a treadmill. It's something you can take anywhere. Mm -hmm. And I love to walk. I think I enjoy it because not only do I physically feel better, but it helps me mentally. Yes. That's huge. That is huge. And the thing that I, I think about with walking is it's, it's a head to toe thing, right? It starts with the mental health. It starts with getting that blood flowing in the brain and helping with cognitive function, mm -hmm. all the way down through your cardiovascular system with your heart and your lungs, down into your digestive tract. If we can get moving more, that helps us with digestion. And then of course, those muscles. And don't forget about the bones. Walking is an amazing weight bearing exercise that can help us with our balance and fall prevention and with osteoporosis. So it helps with everything. I mean, there's so many benefits. Yes. And the one thing that I love most is getting out, enjoying the weather. Like today, it's like the mm, most perfect, perfect fall day outside. Yes. Oh, so I always wondered when I'm walking and I'm having fun and I like to go at, you know, gradually build up to yeah. a fast pace. Does it matter how fast you are moving or how slow you're moving? So I always tailor that to my patients, right? So it's what can start to get your heart rate up so that you can talk comfortably like we are, yeah. but you might have like a little bit of that heart pumping and a little bit out of breath. So you might not be able to necessarily sing a song. And I think it's awesome to do a warm up, right? So start getting that oxygen and blood flowing to all the muscles, and then you can start to pick up the pace a little bit. Yep, get that warm up going. Mm -hmm. Now, what about the time of day? What, what do you recommend? Do you think it's Great best question. right when you wake up? Great question. So I, again, recommend to my patients, do what works for you and you can fit into your schedule. Because when we start to get so regimented, and regimented in the ways and times that we exercise, it becomes harder to make it a priority. You know, mm -hmm. some days we don't have time in the morning, so at night is when it's gonna be. So I say fit it in when you can, and no matter what, it's gonna have a benefit. It is, that's the most important thing. And you know, I even tell myself some days, because I always wanna make sure that I get my miles and that I get mm -hmm. my steps and that I'm being active, but it doesn't seem like we have enough hours in the day yeah. sometimes, Dr. Natalie. Yes. So even if you get 10 minutes, 20 minutes, anything, right? As long yep. as you're getting some form of physical activity with walking, yes. it doesn't matter. Yeah, and a great way because we have such sedentary jobs and sedentary lifestyles in general, one thing that you can do is set a timer on your phone and even every hour for five or 10 minutes, get up and move, do some walking That's exercises or get out and take a walk. And you'd be surprised. That time adds up throughout the day and all of a sudden you've walked a total of 60 minutes. Boom. Yep, <laughs> I know, absolutely. So we are walking through the heart of Highland Park and uh, I'm smelling all of these delicious yes. restaurants. <laughs> and you know, I mean, we're Italian, Dr. Yes. Natalie. We love we to are. eat. We <laughs> love the pasta and the pizza and everything, the bread. 
how important is diet? How much does that need to align with keeping up with your physical activity and exercise? Yes, yeah, so I am right there with you, my friend, <laughs> but diet is so important. And when I say diet, I'm not talking about going on a diet and being super restrictive. I'm talking about that lifestyle. How do you eat, let's say, over a period of time, like throughout a week? And if you're making those smart choices the majority of the time, then when you have those maybe indulging moments, they're that much more special. But mm -hmm. when it comes to long-term health, it's so important that we're picking the right foods. Now, I know you have such a beautiful family, Dr. Thank you. Natalie, you do. I mean, what do you tell your kids at a young age? Yeah. Do you, they're both young and they're so healthy and active. Do you want them to start getting active now and to teach them, you know, this is important at an early age? Yeah, we're, thank you. We're so, we're so blessed uh, being able to offer a healthy example to our kids. Um, so it might really look different for each person when it comes to getting your family active and you just need to set that example. So are you out walking as a family? You know, are you going on a stroller walk? Or are you like me where you're doing your workout at home and one, you know, three-year-old is on your back while you're in a plank and then the one-year-old's running through your legs. I mean, but hey, it's a little you bit do of it. extra. Yes, it's a little yeah. bit extra and you get that in, right? You get that exercise in. So it's so important to set that example from an early age because kids start to learn a way to look at exercise and health in a healthy way and not in more of an obsessive way. Right, now you are very unique, Dr. Natalie, and you have a unique practice. I, w I wanna tell our whole audience about what you do and why you're so special. Thanks. Yeah, I, it's been such a blessing to have this practice open for the past year. So um, as, you, as you said, with my, my history of family medicine and lifestyle medicine, I'm a primary care physician mm -hmm. and I was working in more of a traditional model of care. What I noticed is that really inhibited my ability to see patients for as long as I needed to, as often as I needed to, and to have that continuity where I could see them more than once, right? Because when it comes to lifestyle change and getting healthier, you need to have multiple touch points. So that's why I opened my direct primary care practice. It means that I'm able to have a membership-based model practice not involving insurance directly so that no one's telling me how often I can see patients or how long I can spend with them. So Dr. Natalie, yes. we got to talk about your shirt. Oh, Walk this? with a doc. <laughs> yes. I want to know all about this because you are the Pittsburgh chapter here. Yeah, it's been such an honor to be a Walk with a Doc leader here in Highland Park. Funny story though, I started my chapter in March of 2020. <laughs> so timing wise, we weren't able to meet in person. Um, so I've been able to do some virtual walk with the docs every month on the third Saturday of every month is when I would host them in person. So I figured, why don't I just shoot some videos? Um, so on that third Saturday of every month, I have a video where I put out and it's a quick blurb about some health related topic and just educating the community about something that they wanna learn about, high blood pressure, high cholesterol, you know, healthy diet, and then an encouragement to get out and walk. And that's what it's gonna be like when we can meet in person again, hopefully later this month, where we can all meet as a community, safely distance, but walking and having that opportunity to talk with a doc and for me to talk with patients and the people that surround us. And you know what? It's the best medicine to get them out there. It's the best drug you could prescribe. Get yeah. out there and walk and now they could do it with you. Absolutely. And when Walk With A Doc was started by Dr. David Sabger and he really said what a lot of us physicians feel, mm. we, it's really hard in a short visit in the traditional model to get that whole message out to patients and help them make change. So he said, why don't I just meet you at the park with my family and let's take a walk together. And that really resonated with me, which is why I wanted to start my own walk with a doc chapter. Yeah, and it's, it's amazing. And I'm sure you've had an incredible turnout to see the people that actually do want to get active and maybe it's their first time and they're afraid and you could help them overcome that. Yeah, and, it's, and as you know, I'm sure it's really hard to get in touch with a doc and ask those. Sometimes they seem like silly questions, but it turns out no question is a silly question when it comes to your health and well-being. So I want to be in a position where I can be accessible to people mm -hmm. to answer those questions. Oh my gosh. Well, Natalie, I know our viewers are watching with us. They're walking with us. Yes. And I can't believe we're almost at the end. I can't believe it either. 10 I, minutes. We did it. A thousand steps. Yeah, it's been amazing just to like get our heart rate up, you know, hit the hill, start to work our muscles, but it's something that we can totally do any given day. Oh my gosh. So we've made it. We're pretty much approaching. Oh, we're almost to the beautiful Highland Park. Oh, and this, this is your park. This is where you come. You get your yep. exercise in when you're back to in-person walk with the docs. Yep, this is where my kids play. This is play. where it's going to be. 
it's a wonderful place. So many playgrounds, a beautiful reservoir, a water fountain, and sometimes there's even exercise classes going on up here. Oh. So it's a great mainstay in this gorgeous city for people to get out and moving in a safe environment. Oh my gosh. 10 minutes, that's all it took, a thousand mm -hmm. steps, a half mile. Wow. It's easy. Yeah. And what I love most about this is, and I know our audience is gonna feel the same way, but I learned so much from you and we got our exercise in at the same time. Anytime you can be out walking with a friend and just talking, the time passes so quickly, but you're benefiting each other and yourselves. Oh, Dr. Natalie, I can't thank you enough for joining me on this journey today. It's been a blast. Yeah. Well, we've made it to Highland Park, Natalie. It was great to do this today. So fun. And we hope that you join us for the next Walk and a Talk. Thank you so much for getting your exercise in with us today. I'm Selena Pompiani. And I'm Natalie Gentili. And we'll see you next time.